Well, it's being called a medical breakthrough. The FDA has approved the world's only twice a year shot to prevent HIV, which is the virus that causes AIDS. The vaccine is marketed under the name Yestugo and can be used by both men and women. Two clinical trials show the injection is nearly 100% effective at stopping new HIV infections. The medical breakthrough comes as the Trump administration eyes deep cuts to HIV prevention funding. I spoke to a spokeswoman today from Gilead. She said it's going to be about $28,000 a year at list price. But they're making all sorts of efforts, she said, to make it more widely available to everyone. But the problem, of course, is in the United States, we have decreased support from federal programs, both inside the United States and abroad, for HIV prevention. So the question remains, are we going to be able to have access and, and use and instructions for people who need it? Well, it's not clear just how much insurance would cover with this drug. There are still more than 30,000 new infections of HIV in the U.S. each year. But if we go back some 40 years, you can see just how far HIV AIDS treatment and prevention has come. The CDC reported its first cases in 1981. The FDA approved the first AIDS treatment in 1987. In 1992, AIDS became the number one cause of death for American men between the ages of 25 and 44. At high risk were gay men and IV drug users. But in 1997, highly active antiretroviral therapy increased HIV life expectancy by 15 years. Today, people with living in HIV in the United States can live a near normal lifespan.